Yo, welcome everybody to a new video. Let me just get up my music and then we can actually start off with the good old Treadbloom Cave. Today we're just playing some normal as uh, Treadbloom Cave in the one hour session. Here we go. Finally started. And uh, let's hope for the best we find good opponents and maybe have some fun while I'm at it. We just, or I just started to render this video. Uh, it took me around <laughs> freaking much, basically uh, one hour, basically for me to render slash edit the freaking video. Maybe even two hours, but we're here, we're here to make this nice content, as I usually say in my streams. But it doesn't seem like I'm finding anyone here. But uh, this tower, as you can probably see from the first tower here. We're playing as the Super Monkey, we had also the One Life Clutch in that game. But then we didn't, because again, we had to start over, since I died to the freaking BFBs. Which, of course, I didn't want to see it happening at all. It is what it is. I'm basically tired, but uh, I clearly want to find my first opponent as soon as possible, if I can. Please and thank you, game. So, uh, basically, at this point, I clearly want to get subscribers and to redo the story that I said in this video here. I want to say it in here. Also, uh, also my first opponent is Rice from Phoenix. I don't know what land that actually is. But we gladly go with the Darkling from Blue. We also change our strategies at some point with Striper strategies, Farm strategies, Pure Eco strategies, and so on and so on. So yeah, let's start off with the story of my life real quick, so we don't get bored out in this video, hopefully. <laughs> so let's start off. Um, if you don't know me, I like making videos a lot. If you also know me, I'm living at my grandpa's house or in my grandpa's house, and basically, I'm using his, basically, uh, what's, what's the name, energy, or whatever it's called again, and, uh, I basically want to pay the rent of him, or for him, and I can't do that because I don't have money, uh, clearly, when someone supports me, that is good to know, but I need money, I'm not gonna beg for you people to gave me money or something, that's not who I am. I don't care about earning money. I just want to get money at some point, either by pure job searching or pure, um, you know, also gonna get money, thank you, for the pure um, YouTube money earning. I don't really need donations, but it's clearly helping me a lot too. Also, he's fine here now, which is okay. So I'm gonna go for 320. Let's, uh, Use two war spikes and then I should be fine. I should be able to get it up soonish. Yeah, let's go. And uh, I live there to support him as good as possible if I can. He is not really that young anymore, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Of course, he sends like non stop pings because I guess it was worth for him. It's not really worth at all. Also, since he's not as young as he was before. Uh, he needs some help, of course, I'm always there to help him when I can, when I got time for it and I'm not recording. But again, life goes further and further than recording a silly video of mine. I wouldn't say it's silly, but again, YouTube is basically my main job at this point, if I really want to earn money out of it. The issue is, I can't earn money yet. I need to wait another 3 months, if I do get like $30 each month for a uh, threshold, basically, if that makes sense. And uh, basically, we should be fine here nonetheless, by the way, against yellows. He nonetheless will not be fine. I have probably to boost here because I'm also aggro as hell. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna boost here. Gladly have to boost, I don't mind boosting. I might lose. No, JK, I like. I like being a low-life warrior. This guy's kind of weird, but I mean, I'm playing aggressive as hell. And uh, basically, returning to my grandpa's situation, also what is displacement? Is uh, that 
he is not as young as he is. So basically, I need to make sure that I support him at all costs. Scoop 500 and then we can go for the plantation. Can I help some? Wow, okay. So I really want to help my grandpa at some point, which is clearly what I want to do. The issue is no money, no support for the rent, nothing like that. And the connection has lost. Never mind. So I'm gonna bump this down because I don't like that. As slow as this game goes. And he just came back from his work. Basically, we live in his work, but uh, he has also some outside work to do since uh, we are basically something else. So, also, if he rushes me, I'll clearly go for the blue hose. Also, why is he going for a blue trap and then not sell this guy? That's so weird. Now it is what it is. Why is everybody sending me those sleepers when I can easily defend that? Oh well. I'm fine, I'm gonna spike for that. Normally I want to face one, but I want to be nice at this point. And uh, he wanted to tell me that I would like help clean his car. The car that he used to go out for, you know, Undertaker stuff. And it happens again. Lovely. Basically, that's why I want to support him as good as possible. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this little mini story, life story of me and helping my grandpa when I can. But it can't be happening soon. Also, nice camo ceramic that didn't really work at all. Let's see how. Oh, it's faster because internet of his were gone. Wow, now he's sending me camo. Boomerang? Okay. That's actually hilarious. Boomerang, he lost this game so easily. I have so much eco too. I'm fine. And, uh,. Basically, I want to help him at all costs, if possible. He might actually die to the camos. He's world spiking, that's fine. But he's dead to these uh, BPs. At this point, I can just, you know, create for my farm, so as I got so much eco. And, uh, yeah, that's all my life story for today. Probably like 7 minutes in of the life story, but it's clearly fine. Camo ceramic. No camo, okay, that's actually. I'm fine here. If I need to boost, I'll boost. But I don't need to because we got the reclue again. The clue is overpowered with the dartling, I swear to god. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say about the life story of mine. If you want to hear one more again, I'll clearly do that next time as well. I'm gonna say uh, Sia as I'm toxic to this gamer, the epic gamer of this guy, he's an epic gamer. He's actually preparing himself for the Glaive Lord, which doesn't really help at all. He might actually die to the AI here, it costs like 11 lives, yeah 11, 55 okay. It's probably gonna send me a lot of those, yeah that's just easy peasy. I still have one farm to keep on going, but I'm like vibing. Put them all to misery. I don't really need to boost this. If I do, I clearly do boost here, but uh, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. Down if I'm close, just so overpowered if you play this correctly. It is what it is. I would have gone for the BI, to be honest. And the swag. Go for the. Bang! And he rushes me again? Yeah, of course. Ah, DC glitches. But, yeah, that's from Clue Silver Power. It is what it is. Uh, also, if you don't know, I did say in the beginning one hour session, which means I will be recording for one hour, so you have one hour of me basically talking nonsense and have my gameplay behind. Maybe I'm gonna do it like a sped up version and post commentary if I feel like it. But we'll see. Ah, this guy is a bad player, because again, he just decides if he doesn't like to play the game anymore. Which I understand, I mean, I'm destroying this kid with Darkling from Glue. 
It's actually insane. Also, my nose is again blocked for whatever reason, which is so dumb. Oh, fuck me! Yeah, I'm tired. I'm always tired. Also, next opponent is Julius or Julius Caesar. In the clan, yellow. Jackets and he's grinding for the top 100 badge. But this, uh, I want to go, what's a good strategy? Probably this, against this kid here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's only always makes you a good player, if you know how to play the game. Ninja Fast Sniper Ace is also pretty good. I'll well, gladly start off with the Ace, because Ace is better than the Ninja. If he goes, yeah, that's not smart. Counter, um, what's the name? Doing the same thing as I do, it's not really smart, as I'm only the on one e coin. Yeah, that's definitely not smart. Just go for the eco, uh, not eco, for the farm. It's not smart, my guy. It is not smart. It's not like I'm going for the ninja anyway. But, uh, yeah. I don't care if I leak, as this is just boost only and not free pops, which is good. And, uh, basically, all we have to do is just get up the sniper farm and we're basically vibing to it. Which is actually insane. <laughs> this guy's actually insane. Look at this kid. Thinking he can send me pings. On his good long map with loops. It's actually insane. There we go. Let's keep on face bombing because this kid is trash. I mean, sure he wants to pressure me, but I'm just decoying. The only good rush that he might be sending us will be like plaques, but I already have the money for it. For the tier 1, maybe tier 3. Uh, 3 2, or tier, uh, 3 1, I meant. That might be a possibility. Let's uh, send him some reds. Now some greens. If I can. There we go. And some pings behind. And that should basically make him force some defense. And we do indeed do that. Let's go for the uh, double shot. There we go. He goes for the Healy eyes. Uh, Healy Ace. That's actually well done. I'm gonna stop here and go for the Blacks at this point. Because Blacks gives me more money. Because again, Eco first of all. And secondly, I need money for defense. And as I probably know, this guy's probably gonna go for the round 8 rush. Which means I have to boost, most likely. But we'll gladly see. If I do need it. No rush incoming. Okay. Because I'm gonna send some yellows. When I got 550, I'll gladly go for it. Let's see what he's gonna do about it. Razor rotors. Really nice, really nice. Let's do 560, and then that should be more enough. If he tries to rush me, I'm fine. Again, we have the sniper farm for LEDs. Or general snipers only. For the LEDs. Here comes yellows, and that's way too late, as I'm already having it. Gladly boosting here, I don't mind boosting. Nice one. You know, face from this because it's easy defense. And if he rushes me, I'll gladly just go for the ODS. I mean, if he rushes me, of course, that is. Nah, he doesn't. He's a coward, which I understand. I mean, you don't really need to rush me at this point because I'm fine. Let's see, is he gonna rush me or not? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, that's good. That's pretty decent. Alrighty, then I'm fine. I mean, I burned the boost out, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. A little rush, as usual, to get some money, or eco, that is. At least do 650 or 660, and then you're fine. Unless your opponent sucks ass at this game, 
But with the ace, he should be fine. With the boost, he should be fine. Yeah, he's fine with 11 lives. So, congrats on this guy. At this point, we can wait for the... Uh, never miss. Or basically go for the... Sniper farm. I'll probably go for the never miss, to be honest. I don't know if I can do the mini circle down there. No, I cannot. That's way too hard for me. Let's see. I can sell this guy basically now, but I will probably wait one more second. And do it now. Perfect. Managing the money. Let's see if he's gonna rush me or not. If he doesn't rush me, I will not go for the A's, obviously. Because it's not really worth going for it. He doesn't rush me at all. This guy stays on strong because he's good. And the semi rifle will be on the first targeting because he's just better on first. I'm gonna say nothing because I don't want this guy to see that I got it. If he rushes me, however, I will definitely go for the ODS right away. But he doesn't seem like to rush me at all. It just means I'm good. I got 760 and I can go for the second sniper farm basically on this round and get up like 1000 income. And afterwards I'm just vibing. And then, yeah, I'm basically fine afterwards. I'm actually vibing here. He's definitely dying to the BFP if I send in one, but... I'm clearly not sending anything for now, since I need the money for this second sniper farm as soon as possible. Which I can easily get now, which is good, which is definitely good. Which means I can easily go for this guy now. And now it's time for the uh, Flash Bomber. I think I'm gonna post it right here. And then we can go for the Flash Bomber slash the good old Sabo. He's probably gonna rush me. Which makes sense. Yep. I may have to sell the Sniper Farm though. Also, let's put this guy in first real quick. And then on Strong again once I have the money for it. Yep, now I can. Sabo, both on strong. Don't think I need to boost this. If I do, then I clearly have to. I'm gonna boost this, I don't feel like safe. First, first. And basically I'm fine, yeah, look. Nice. I'm vibing. Now if he rushes me, I'm more than fine again, because again, I have money for any rushes that he's gonna send me. Sadly, I had to burst another boost, but... Or burn on another boost, I meant to say. But at this point, I'm vibing. If he rushes me again, I have so much eco that I'm, again, fine. If he dies here, that's kinda sad, but... Be my guess. Come on, don't die. Give me some content while I'm at it. Burn a boost here or something. Too late of a boost, but is he fine? That's the issue. Yeah, he's fine. Good. At least something. I ain't gonna micro the ace, but uh, we got a lot of income at this point. Just go for the ODS, please. Thank you. So we have at least a chance to go late game at this point. And late game going is pretty good with the strategy, because I can easily go for the late game stuff. I hope this guy sends me like a CMG on round 27 or something to force a little bit of stuff. But I'll clearly want to go for like 3k before going on other sniper farms. Maybe I'm gonna stop at 2.2k and then go for the sniper farms and then go for the 3k. And I got money without end. Probably go for like 3.5k at max. And then call it a day there too. I believe it's better to go for that because again, the more eco you have, the more sniper farms you get later on. Let's stop here and get another sniper farm up. Let's put this guy also on uh, strong and then basically we're vibing. I can sell this guy and go for the sniper farm. Look at that, we're vibing. Please don't die. You have one life. Thank you. I prefer if you go for the freaking Apache, but you do you, man. Be my guest. My opponent has the one life clutch. He's the low life warrior. Yeah. He's the low life low life warrior. Yeah. Also on strong real quick, so we don't really leak here at all. 
There we go. Let's go for, like I said, five and then go for more income. Please don't die. Hopefully your ace micro is correct. Which kind of is at the moment, but I wouldn't really recommend going for the ace micro if you have the helicopter, basically. So hopefully you don't die here. I prefer if you actually go for the Apache, please. Go for the Apache at this point. I'm not certain that you win this. And I keep on e-coin. Please. Just go for the Apache, my man. I'm scared that you lose. And that's not really content if you lose here. Or at least burn a boost. My man actually not dying. That's good. I'm still scared that he kind of dies, you know? Let's put in never miss here, Tio at least. And then we will basically are fine. Tio never misses are pretty good. Against more Plasma, I don't think it's good, but against basically AI, it's pretty good decent. Come on, please go for the freaking Apache. Thank you. Let's do, like I said, 3.5k and then get back to the sniper farms and I call it a day too. Finally, he sells his VIA, so hopefully he sends me like a CMG at this point. Um, basically, at this point, I really want to go for all the point of those with one strong, of course. Please don't die. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Stop here, as I said, 3.5k. And now it's time to get these sniper farms on going. That's our main goal. My our main goal. If you know the meme. The funny shark teeth guy. If that makes sense. If you know what meme that is. My, my eco is pretty decent. But is it viable to go with high income? My answer is yes. Because you can micro, you can go with these number farms non-stop. And that's basically what I can say about this. Let's set this guy on strong. So this guy also on strong. This guy is on strong. So set this guy on strong. Set this guy on strong. And basically just call it there now. I prefer if he rushes me at this point. Because again, I need some content. And if he doesn't rush me, then I'm kind of sad. But, I mean, you do you. If you actually die here, I'm being sad. Please don't die. Please don't die. Or oh, where's the content? Where's the content? You died to AI. Never mind. I'm gonna give him shock mode. That was pretty close. Almost died there, my friend. <laughs> it didn't even give me the content as I wanted to have. Jesus. Stop giving me a heart attack every single time. My opponents always play so weird that it's actually insane that they actually survive. But at this point I'm fine, look at that. Each time I go for this I get like 4 sniper farms. And I'm fine. Oh look at that, he's finally rushing me. But in the wrong time. Because I, I can easily go for this guy. And at this point I can also go for the Spectre. Probably not needed, but... It's better than nothing. Might be probably going for two Spectres at this point, because again, Spectres is overpowered. And we like Spectres. Let's uh, also go for another Flash Bomber, or aka okay, Sabo. The main defense or DPS is, of course, the Sniper Farms, because they shoot fast. And they basically have... A lot of defense basically secured, if that makes sense. Like, if I go for the ground zero, boom, it's gone. You see my uh, thing? Yeah, it's basically overkill. overkill. Especially when I micro, it's so easy. Well, it's not really micro, but it's total micro, if that makes sense. I can all go easily for all the specters on the world, basically, and just win. Yeah, look. Micro ring is so easy, too. On this map, because it's a long-ass map. 
don't think I needed to Sabo, but hey, I'm happy. Let's go for multiple, also on D.50. All should be on point five zero because then we got more damage. At this point, we need damage than sniper farms. Even though, actually, sniper farms is damage anyway because multiple damage and fast firing speed. I think that's pretty decent. Let's go for another sniper farm. We go for multiple sniper farms. It's gonna blue boost again. I'm fine. At this point, I can also go for this guy, Sabo, Blue Shitsu. It's gonna rush me, that's fine. I mean, I don't care if he rushes me. I got the two Spectres, I'm vibing. Sabo again. Rubus again, okay. Sabo again. Let's buy another Sabo. Let's buy another Spectre. Boost. And at this point, I can probably just allow this kit as well. Only two of them. Because we need to go for the Crown Zeros. I should have gone for the cripple, but I don't need cripple for the W. Oh yes, give me the leg I need. He might actually die before me. Again, I have micro why he does not. I also think with a lag game, I appreciate it. We'll be pretty close too, but I have Micro Man and he dies because he has no connection anymore. Which means I have gotten the W. And we've been oops, we've been recording for 20 minutes in, which is pretty cool. Got my nose. Oh, I love this music so much. But yeah, I think this strategy is pretty decent if you go with high income. And if you have good micro, you can easily win this. Easily. There's no way you cannot win this. If I had like 5 Spectres and then rest would be Plunchitsus, I would have won this game, this rush easily. There's no doubt about it. Now, I think I'm gonna go with something else against this pro player here. Champion. We had basically the same winners ratio. I think I had 175 and 35. But I might always be wrong. 79 percentage. And I'm going with... Mm -hmm. What can I go against this pro player? Pure eco, by the way. Probably I'm gonna go with this strategy because it's actually pretty decent if you play this correctly. Yeah, first of all, I have double, double store, which is Moto and Ninja. And then you have the passive store, which is the clue. And we basically want to... Make sure that we don't max in the stall, basically, if that makes sense. Only let one balloon go through, and then sell the motor if we need to. But it doesn't seem like this guy is gonna rush me. Nope. Also, he has mega lag for sure. Holy. So if he goes like freaking, I don't know, Whistle Farm Village, I think I still have the W, but his strategy is. Basically, it's superior than ours. Let's put this guy also right here, and then shall be fine. Unintentional, the uh, pentasoling, which I don't really want. But we shall be fine now. He's leaking quite a bunch, but he's going for the lightning booster basically at this point now. Yep, there it is. Wood funked. I'm good at this game, not. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't go up there. But if it does, then I um, don't really care about it. I'm sending this guy also on last, so we don't leak too many lives. 
because this guy on last is actually pretty decent. And he doesn't eat the uh, this guy doesn't really send me anything, which is weird. So I wonder. Ah, there it is, finally. But I think it's fine for me. Oh yeah, it actually hits up there. Well, oh, that's bad. That's actually bad, but he'd stop right there, which is okay, I mean. Um, can I... Uh, let's go for 100 and then... Go for the eco space blacks in case he sends me like blacks. Since again, my placement for the ninja is not really the greatest, which means I can't really go for it. Actually, it's pretty decent, but it can enter stores too. So at this point, I don't really care if I enter store. As proven already that eco isn't really an issue here since I got double store. So if he rushes me, I'll definitely try my best to beat his rush. From all rushes, basically from camo, region, region camo, ceramics, more glass balloons, all those kind of rushes, pretty easily, hopefully. Let's stop here, go for the burning stuff as soon as possible, and then I should be fine. Nah, don't get it, the money for it. But soon I'll be going for it. He's actually trying his best to punish me. I'm fine, as you probably can see. There we go. Close, by the way, so we don't leak too many lives. And first. Look at that, we're vibing now. At this point, I can go for the clue hose. And strong. Probably sell this guy too. Camo, we got already camo mortar, which is basically signal flare, if we need to, but we don't, which is good. I mean, we de we knew the... Uh, I can't even speak anymore. We need to, but not now. I just need the clue hose, and then we call it a day too. So let's go for the clue hose, and then go for the bigger blasts, and then the signal flare. Or maybe signal flare first, and then the bigger blast, if that makes sense. So we don't leak too many lives. Against his stupid rushes. There we go. Now we can sell this guy and basically mix eco with whites. I think with the glue host, I'm definitely fine here. Uh, if he has like Cobra, then I'm probably fine too, as again, we have double stall. He might actually leak here a little bit. Yeah, he's boosting. So I'm gonna counter boost this guy boost basically, which means I'm gonna rush him basically now to see what he's gonna do about this. Oh yes, okay, wizard farm A is interesting, really interesting, and we make his BIA actually worse at this point, which is basically good. I do like that. I do like that. So our Ninja is basically the uh, ceramic popping power, which is definitely great. I'm actually going for it right away too, because I'm scared. Ah, he uses whites for income. I mean, sure, it doesn't really matter. But I prefer if he just go for the BIA at this point. But, uh, you do you. If I clearly have 950 eco, it should be fine here, but nonetheless. But at the moment, I'm not fine. I mean, I rushed him. And we make his BIA later than usually, which is definitely good. His income is also not that great for now. I think it's like 500 at this point. But uh, I'm I'm vibing, I'm vibing. I think also, I will also do like a uh, eco, whatever it is, showcase to see what the opponent has to do and everything. Let's go. If he sends me a mob, I have the balloon chips already. Since I already have this guy. Yeah, there it goes. Oops, I didn't mean to. I wasted the balloon boost, that's fine. No matter. I think I have to boost this, but we gladly see soonish. Nice. Put this guy on strong. Come on! 
Yikes. I'm fine. Sadly, I had to boost. But I'm fine now. Um, <laughs> this is kind of tough now, since this guy's gonna be more aggro. He comes to BFB, most likely. No BFB from our boy. Okay. Guess I'm gonna keep on sending whites. So I see BFB, and then I will definitely go for the defense as needed. So I wasted a freaking bloom boost. Which is kind of bad. Oh well. If I see this guy to go for his factory, I'll definitely send him two more ups and see what he's gonna do about it. If you don't know, people actually don't really know that you can basically punish them by sending two mobs bloom boosted. But I'm gonna send non bloom boosted because I already wasted one bloom boost, sadly, which is kinda bad. It is what it is. We got 1.4k. It's not really the greatest, but it's also not the worst. So I'm fine with that. So if the opponent actually goes for the factory, I'm yeah, I'm definitely going for it. There we go. I'm not gonna boost this because it's not worth. Drank's breath? Is he fine though? He needs the Tempest Tornado, most likely. Unless his micro is good with the ace. Tornado, two tornadoes, and he seems to be vibing. Yeah, look, GG's. Now I'm probably gonna be screwed against a B uh, CMG, but that's why I'm e -coing. If I don't need to boost this, then I'm fine. He probably went for a 4 2 factory. Yep. Which means at this point I can I need to focus on my defense. So I'm gonna go for two more ninjas. Just to be safe. Yep, there it is. CMGs. Yeah, BFP is okay. BFP. I think what I'm gonna do is probably get this guy up first. The flash bomber, aka the uh, Sabo. And call it a day. Yeah, Sabo is definitely my play here. I think. Yeah, Sabo is definitely play. And then I'll go for those two distractions as well, and then I'll call it day two. Actually, I'm gonna put the scales on first, in case we basically lose. Sabo will definitely be necessary. Uh, Sabo. And looks like I'm vibing. Yeah, man, he boosted. So he actually leaked, which is. Good, I'm gonna laugh because he deserved it. Let's see what he's gonna do. I think I'm gonna sell this Blue Jutsu, it would be a little bit greedy. But hey, the more greedy I am, the more power I have for later. So I'm expecting this guy to send me a CMG. Because he has to boost this. Oh? Is he fine? Tempest, you need to Tempest. Ooh, champion almost died, but he's fine. All right, that's a good, good play by him, I guess, at least. So with 2.5 gen come, I'm gonna say this: I'm secured the game at this point because he has like bad farms, and I have basically good income. I'm also instantly sending constant pings, which is definitely the play. Now, if he uh, somehow rushes me with CMG around freaking, I don't know, around 27 or something. Then I can easily defend that. Easily, by the way. And uh, call it a day too. He, al he also has two for two factories. Which is good by him, but he needs defense for around freaking 30. Because I'm definitely going to send him one CMG. To see what he's going to do about it. But by then I already have like probably 5k income. If, of course, that makes sense. I don't need that much eco, but uh, clearly I need... Defense for that round number 30 and 32. So what I need to do is definitely send him like a constant freaking CMGs spaced. So if when the space comes out, we need to send him like two seconds later of the spaced, basically. When the CMG comes out. And we should be fine afterwards. It's like playing against a DFA versus DFA player. And you know how to what uh, when to rush basically. And this guy fucking dies to AI. Okay. That is bad. That is actually bad. I'm giving him thumbs down. Because I want content, my friend. I want content. Content. As I say in my streams. I need content, my friend. I need content. 
Also, my video is almost published. I know published, but rendered. Uh, basically, that's good for all that we know. But, uh, yeah, we're basically almost done here. And you can see the CMG around 43. That's amazing. Well, let's see who's our next opponent. But I believe Ninja Ice, Ninja Glue and Ice could work. Ninja Glue Motor could work. Ninja Glue Village could work. Everything with Ninja Glue, basically. Oh, Banning Dude is the next opponent. Okay. Hmm. Clearly want to go with Ninja Clue. Ninja Clue Ace does not work. But what about the Triple Store? The Triple Store will be definitely decent. Let's start off with the Anti-Stalling right here, right now. And he uses all his Rose Flex down there, which is definitely not smart, but I mean, you do you. This is the spot, and then perfect W. I'm expecting a thumbs down because he thinks I've go like Ninja Village Ice or something. I'll be gladly see, we gladly see. Uh, he definitely needs to go for like a defense at some point. I'm also preparing myself. Is he going like Ninja Mortar, Ninja Ace, or is he also going like Ninja Super? In that case, I still win the game because I have Triple Storm, but he does not. And my eco on round 3 is decent because that's the maximum you can go for. Unless, of course, you have like freaking Bloom Jab, uh, Jam Packed, which nobody can use it because it's Bloom Boost only. I can't speak because my, uh, my nose is blocked, and you can probably hear that, which kind of sucks. But hey, I can't do anything about it. I don't have a microphone, I only have a headset. It isn't pretty good. It's actually broken, if you know what I mean. So he's sending me some pings, which I can easily counter with a ice door right there. An ice timing. Isn't really the greatest, but it's still good. I mean, if he rushes me further, I'm still fine. If he sends me blacks, then I'm actually funny. Laughing, I guess. Laughing my ass off. There we go. I don't know why my speed of the ice is not really that great, but it's whatever it is. I'm gonna face bomb. Because, again, it's kinda useless to send me those pings, but sure. I'm also playing as if my uh, strategy has the village in. Also, why do you send me? That's actually stupid. But you do, man. Sending me blacks against like ice is pretty bad, if I'm being honest. So why is it not? I guess I'm gonna do deep freeze on both of them. Yeah, that's the issue. That's the issue. I see. You need deep freeze. You need the deep freeze, or else you lose. Okay, I see. I see. Isis. Isis in game, of course. So let's start off with this guy, I think, here. The triple star. As who expected, of course. And he goes for the ninja clue strategy, actually. Pretty interesting, if I'm being honest. He goes for the plantation. Bad decision. But he actually goes for the glue storm. Uh, glue storm, yes. Definitely the glue storm candy. <laughs> uh, whites, I'm fine. Like, I have freaking glue. Against those whites, I'm fine. Yeah. Send me those whites. Those region whites do nothing, buddy. This will do a little bit of defense or rush. Yeah, I'm probably that here. Unless I boost this. Ah, let's get out. That's because I want to play DFA, but the opponent, uh, I forgot the name, DC slash IDC, because my internet went bye bye. And yeah, so no DFA for the day, sadly. I'm gonna randomize that small or less opponent here. And we got this strategy, okay. That's funny. That is actually funny. So I'm gonna go for the Enter Store. Should I go for the NG Start? Probably not. Actually, I do. I want to see what he's gonna do a bit about that NG Start. 
gonna put this guy on last. And then let's see what he's gonna do. He's going for the attack shooter. I'm gonna swag, because I'm funny. And he's starting off with the eco, which is fair. Don't mind that. I'm going for the ice tower as uh, so our main popping power. And then call it day two. There we go. Now, if he rushes me with, like, I don't know, pinks or something, then I'm going for, like, the freaking sentry guns. I might actually go for it right now, so that they actually can sp spawn up and speed up the process. Yeah, sure, let's go for it. Don't mind it. And let's just talk this girl on last. So we uh, actually have defense, which is pretty good. 300 income is actually pretty decent on round 3. Which is definitely pretty decent. I do like that. So again, blues I'm definitely fine because again we have freaking ice tower. There's no reason behind it. And I'm basically vibing. If he actually e kills wool game through, then I actually have a chance with the balloon trap to get the most cash possible in round freaking eight, if that makes sense. But if I actually get the balloon trap round eight, that would be amazing. Because he has to eco in it, which is what I want from this guy. Fear me. <laughs> Fear me. I have the balloon trap. I have the balloon trap, man. Fear me. Uh, let's go 425. Let's send some greens. And when round 7 starts, I have to go for the balloon trap or basically try to get it up. If that makes sense. Hopefully I don't leak too many lives. I'm gonna stop you actually and go for the Pluton Trap. At this point I need to. If I do get it up of course around freaking 7. Let's go for this guy up here. It costs a lot too which is kinda dumb. But it is what it is. Let's get up the uh, sentry guns. I may actually have to go for the freaking rockets instead. But we'll see. I'm going for it. Yeah, I need to. I need to. But afterwards I can go for the balloon trap and I'll call it day too. Which is basically good. I'm gonna sell this guy too. Go for this guy. And see what he's gonna do. I'm definitely set this guy on last. Put this guy here. And now it's just saving up time. Actually, I can go for the balloon trip now. After this 2 eco boost saving up. Which is definitely pretty decent, but I wouldn't really recommend that. I think message is still better, because again, magic. The only issue is that I don't have pretty much camo defense unless I go for the helicopter right away. Or basically wild, wild frost. Which is what I need. Probably. Uh, if he rushes me with camos, I think I'm gonna go for the second... What's the name? Second foam, basically. And then... Basically try my best to decamo everything under the Dune Trap, which is what I want. There we go. Let's see what he's gonna do. Oh, clearly go for the second foam because I need it at some point. There we go. Second foam has been acquired. And if he doesn't eco at all at this point, then I mean, I win the game. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's sequeling again, which is good. Pretty decent if I say so myself. I can sell stuff, I don't mind that. Let's also get up nice, just to be safe against runes that go through, if that makes sense. Like if the blue trigger is four, I can go for it. It's a pretty good actually a pretty good strategy counter uh, strategy like eco basically in this map I would prefer going for it all the time at this point it's pretty smart too 
But also, once we have 1,000 income, we can easily go for the second balloon trap, which we can easily do now. We can sell those two for 1.4 and 60k, which means I can go for it basically after this round. Look at that, we got the second balloon trap, and now we're vibing. Perfect. Since we got the third balloon trap also soonish, I think we're fine here vibing. That's a lot of hard contents. We have good income too, so if he rushes me, I'm more than fine actually. Actually fine, and I'm gonna be more like grinder-ish with the uh, money on the balloon trap, even though it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go for like 1.35k and then go for the downdraft in case he sends me something. Like a Moab. But I wouldn't believe he's going for it. That'd be pretty bad if he does so. Because he loses a lot of money too. Oh yeah, he's actually sending me. Which is kind of weird. But I mean, you do you. Can I even... Rose Spike, thank you. Loon Trap for the W. You know it. At this point, I don't really need to showcase how good the strategy actually is at this point. Uh, we can sell the basically the down trap for basically the uh, ice stall, and then at this point, we can just wipe with it. I can also go for the third balloon trap, just for the funsies, but I don't feel like doing that. Not yet, at least. If he actually sends me a freaking BFB, that would be funny. Let's see what he's gonna do about it. Or constant Moabs, which I can easily counter by just going for the ice store. I'm actually gonna sell this kid, don't need to. Let's see what he's gonna do about it. Is he gonna send me a BFB? That'd be hilarious. Yeah, he's actually sending me a BFB. Easy freeze. Easiest freeze my life. Let's go for the second or third balloon trap. And then, uh... We walk our money up for the stuff. Let's actually put those balloon traps actually right here. So we can actually get money faster. Let's go for uh, the Wild Frost. Or not the Wild Frost, but the Arctic Wind. And then we should be fine, nonetheless. Like, we have so much eco that it's actually insane. Let's put this guy also on quad darts. Fill our balloon traps up. And that should basically be the end for this guy. Yep. Nice Sue. Nice Sue, look at that. I can basically get up a lot of more defense slash balloon traps. And now just waiting game. If my opponent actually sends me a CMG, I can easily go for the Apache at this point. No need to. Oh my god, that actually is kind of funny. I'm gonna go for 2.5k and then go for the uh, Apache. I have so much eco that this guy cannot even comprehend how much I have. Also, the CMG gets also damaged with the center guns that we have on the field, which is pretty cool. I do like that. I do like that. I probably have to sell one of my balloon traps, most likely. We'll see. Let's stop at 2.55k or something. There we go. So we can go for the Apache. Thank you for the money, AI. Pretty appreciate it. And I can go for the Apache here now. I'm gonna sell this guy actually. Go for basically another one. I'm gonna sell this guy. Boom boom. Nice. Let's pop the BFP. Boom. Now we're vibing. Everything that touches this ice strategy will basically dest get destroyed basically at this point. Yeah, look. This gets destroyed! 
that gets destroyed and we're vibing. If I send him one CMG, he's definitely dead. Which actually, I'm gonna do that. I have so much eco. But I don't really care. <laughs> if he actually farms me down, he's gonna be like pretty mad, but who cares? I have to W, not you. I'm gonna say GG's already. Or well, basically Seer. Yeah, I'm gonna say Seer instead. Nothing goes through my boon traps, which is actually funny. Maybe Regent Rainbows if they get Regent, but they don't. Which is bad, but whatever. He even has no Monkey Town to uh, increase his income. Or decreases the income basically removed from the... Um, what's the stupid name? Decreasing of the eco? That might be a possibility. But is he fine against this? He most likely is. With the Maelstrom ability, he might be fine. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. For now. Just for now. If I send multiple, he's definitely dead. Like, there's nothing he can do. After round 32, I have to sell all my... Basically, um... Loon traps for... Defense, which is, of course, what we need to do anyway. And afterwards, I'm fine. Loon traps is basically the earliest... Money management, or money arms that you can actually get, which is basically what we need to do. Let's get also a gloom trap up, thank you. So I would say at least 3.9k at max, but I'm not sure. Let's do 4.5k actually, because I'm more greedy than ever. Good thing is the Apache is actually pretty good, and I don't really need to collect my gloom traps at all. Because again, Apache can help me. And I still gain, gain the same amount of dollars anyway if I don't collect. So we can actually focus on ecoing and getting more, you know, bloom traps up. Let's get up this guy. Well, not really exactly the same money when the swimming go through, but uh, we still get the same amount of money if we don't collect. Now, if he rushes me, like, non-stop with freaking, I don't know, CMGs on round 32, I'm kind of screwed, but I should be fine. Bloom traps non-stop is pretty good. Yeah, he comes to CMG again, I don't know why, but... Do me a favor and do a good content here now, please. Here comes the rush with these ceramics. Look at that, that's giving me a lot of money. A lot of money. Here comes another rush. And we do have the money for it. Holy. Let's go for the Arctic Wind. Pop the BP and then boom. We got it. We got 20,000 by the way. After this round. Which is actually insane. He might actually die here. Nah, he's fine, okay. Maelstrom's overpowered. We got three Apaches. If he rushes me again, he loses, loses way more income. Even though he has the village right there. I mean, like, we got so much eco at this point. He might have, like, 5k at this point, but... I wouldn't say that much. Randomizing as our last opponent here is actually funny. Still sending one more CMG, which is so stupid. But, I mean, you do you, man. You do you. Yeah, actually, I can sell all my loon traps at this point. I don't need it anymore. Even though they give me a lot of money or provide more money. I have to go for Apache at this point. Good thing is that we can actually go for multiple Apache down here instead of farms. That's the only good thing about the... You know, the Apache's placement. And good thing about the NG is also that we easily can go for like a ultra boost on all the N uh, the what's the stupid name <laughs> on the eye shards and on eye shards the Apaches, which is pretty decent, I would say. But yeah, well, with the NG bloom trap, we actually gain a lot of money. He's sending me another freaking CMG. I don't know, man. 
Do I even need to rebuy a... No, I don't think I do. Let's go for the overclock. Let's go for a third time. Third time to charge. Let's go for another one. They last like two rounds most likely. I might be wrong. Only like 60 seconds at most. Let's go for how much do I have? Eight? Eight. So I need eight of those overclocks. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Seven. And then eight. And then we got it. That's how good it is. There we go. Eight. Now, we can go for like 6.5k and then rush him around 42 SEMG and see how far he can go for, but I wouldn't say it's good. Definitely not. Yeah, he might actually die to the AI if his clue isn't good as he thinks it is, or I think it is. But we gladly see. Um, maybe the video or the footage that I'm going to remove is actually more than one hour long from this game here than... I wipe. If I see a freaking CMG once again, I have to watch boost or basically not watch boost, but overclock it and then call it a day. Yes, I watch a lot of BD6 videos from HJB, from other people that actually play the game, etc. etc. He needs to boost here, and I didn't even boost once. Oh, here comes Null out, okay. Because he thinks he's gonna die here. Understandable. Good. Let's get all the overclocks here. Boom, boom. Let's go for the boost and snap resources. I don't need to. Ooh. Let's go anyway. Not like we can easily win this. We have so much eco. Uh, you can go for another one here, just to be safe. Yep, I'm basically fine. Come on, boost again. You might actually die here first. Give me some content, man. I mean, it, it gave it, he gave me some content, but he died to AI. Aww. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I hope you, guys, hope you guys still enjoyed it, and if you want to see more again, subscribe for free. It's free. You can always change your mind later, and like if you want to see more of that. And as usual, see us as the next video or in the next stream. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Now, guys. And next time, peace out.